And today we're going to do mainly fishing, is that right? And um, I was, I was going to say, um, be careful which URLs you click on because you did a lot of great preparation for this demo. So tell us what you've been up to and uh, yeah, take it away. Yeah, so um, thinking about this episode, I thought like, what would be a unique approach for David Bomble? Um, so I kind of went out there and at the end of all of your messages, you append a bunch of your URLs and, and they're all pretty standard. It's like davidbomble.com, YouTube slash David Bomble. And then I noticed that your Discord is like discord.gg slash random character. And I was like, don't tell me that David hasn't snagged his own Discord URL. So I, went, shame, yeah. <laughs> I took that for you. So it is in my control right now. I had let your team know beforehand. I was like, he can have it after the show. Well, I really appreciate it. I'm going red now. You know, you've 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 caught me out. But that's brilliant. So and you and you what did you do with the domain name? Because you also got a domain name, didn't you? I did, yeah. So I it's kind of like a non-standard, it's just David hyphen uh Bomble. But I went ahead and I uh just downloaded some of the content from your website and it is hosted there right now. I love it. I, I'm going to I'm going to step back now and let you do a demonstration uh, and and I'll ask a bunch of dumb questions um like um where you're hosting it, you know, how much it costs, how you prepare for this because obviously you've done a lot of preparation so I'm really really impressed. So take it away. Shows shows what you what you know lead us down this road if I wanted to do fishing of a company how would I do that? Because let's assume that I know nothing. So let's start perhaps with that. Sorry to talk so long. What is fishing and then um you know, show us how it's actually done. So uh, phishing is kind of like tricking people into an action via email. Usually you'll see like credential phishes. That's the most common type of phish when someone is trying to gain access to a plain text username and password. But then there's also payload phishes, which would have some type of like malicious file attached to it, whether, you know, it's related to um, cobalt strike or like any type of payload that someone has made. To start with phishing, when you're targeting an organization, um, usually you'll just want to build like a complete detailed listing of everyone that could work there. And then of course, the email addresses and contact information of those people. For that kind of stuff, there's a tool that I really like. It's called LinkedIn. And that's just linked in with a T at the end. Um, it's hosted up on GitHub and it allows you to query an organization through LinkedIn and then pull everyone that has a LinkedIn account associated with that organization. And then it even lets you um, play around with the email formats. So like if you think that their email addresses are formatted first name dot last name, it'll go ahead and make all of those email addresses for you. But obviously when we're phishing, like if I was phishing people who like David Bomble, it would be a little bit different than if I'm phishing like employees of an organization. Um, so for this, I took kind of a different approach. Yeah, so I had went ahead and I went, because you do a lot of giveaways, yeah. and I snagged a bunch of this verbiage that you have. Um, it's all pretty similar. This is also how I saw that. You also don't have the David Bumble TikTok. I should have looked into that. Um, oh, that 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 I do, fortunately. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I've got that. So you can't, you can't, you can't get me there. But there's tons of verbiage here uh, that you could pull. Obviously, you do a lot of giveaways. That would be a really good avenue to approach. It's funny because it, it's interesting that you mentioned that because on YouTube, I have this constant problem. And I, I know a lot of YouTubers have where scammers send people messages in the comments like DM me and you've won a prize. So let me just say that for everyone who's watching this video, please do not reply to the scammers. I will never ask you to DM me on Telegram or something for a prize. But sorry to interject. It's it's interesting that you've taken this route because that happens all the time. People are getting scammed who, you know, get told they've won prizes. Yeah. Um, and so with your website here, what I had actually done was there's this awesome tool. It's called Single File. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it makes phishing really, really easy because you can just go to any website, and it's a Chrome extension uh, and you just click it and it will take all of the content of the website and minimize it into one document. So that'll take like the CSS and the JavaScript and it'll minimize all of it into one thing. So here I've just cloned your entire website. Uh, wow, yeah, just assume I know nothing. So assume <laughs> you just teach us. So that, that's just a tool that you got from the Chrome store, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It's just a Chrome extension. Um, wow. And then the part here, especially, you know, if I was trying to do you can see my own credentials. Um, <laughs> we got you there. <laughs> I will blow that out. <laughs> if, um, you know, you were trying to take this website, with, which is actually what I had done, um, you could just uh, clone that. 
And then this is actually the site that I have up right now. So it's just David hyphen Bomble, which is completely different, you know, obviously wow. than your domain, but it functions perfectly. And it just, uh, you know, I've removed a couple of things that didn't look, I didn't think would look good in a fish clone. And it'll just um, capture any credentials submitted into it. It's interesting what you've done because David, I don't want, I'm scared to say anything now because uh, what you've been able to do so far, so quickly, the David Bumble domain is hosted on a different site to the courses, which is what we're seeing here. This is like um, teachable. Teachable. Right? Yeah. yeah. And one of the reasons I'm doing that is because people, I, I'm getting more and more people who are attacking my website and trying to like break in it's like no i'd rather put this on another company so if, if they have a problem if we have a problem it's their problem not my problem yeah obviously didn't save me this time sorry go on and i did notice that yeah that it was on teachable but it still has your logo so it looks yep. fancy so that was really it from that avenue i also went ahead and snagged that discord url of yours um that was available i hadn't done anything with it yet but basically if you just go to discord.gg slash david bomba right now it'll go to my uh discord don't do that <laughs> <laughs> until after yeah because i will give that to you uh, that's very i mean that that's so cool i mean it, i mean it, it's actually quite bad for me obviously being a personal person but it's um it's so nice to see you doing this because these kind of things are the same mistakes that companies are going to make and i'm sure you know the bigger the company the more likely they're going to make lots of dumb mistakes most definitely yeah and then i thought maybe um a fun kind of like show and tell for this would be uh configuring a GoFish server. If you're not familiar okay. with GoFish, it's a type of phishing platform. A lot of red teams use it internally. And I thought we could just create one in Lightsail. It's super easy, uh, quick to do. Yeah, sure. Because I mean, my my thing is, okay, you're going to, you, you've attacked me. So what you've done is you've found domains that are valid and then domains that are similar, is that right? Exactly. Uh, or domains that shouldn't have should have been registered but weren't registered, like the Discord. Yeah. And then you just register that somewhere on a like Bluehost or some registrar, is that right? Yes. Um, and if I was targeting you, I would probably take either of those, you know, take both of those links because they look so verifiable. And I'd go spam okay. YouTube comments saying like, hey, here's my new giveaway page. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> Just like we said, what's actually really happening? Yeah, that's really good. Um, I, I on YouTube, I've actually I'm scared to tell you now, but it's um, I've blocked all URLs by default because of the amount of scamming that goes on. But that would, that doesn't stop you. I mean, you can find people's details, can't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it, you can go into each individual person. Yeah, it's all about persistence. How much time you really want to spend doing it? And the truth is, like, I don't want to spend a lot of time when I'm working because. I'm only getting paid for a week or two weeks or however long an engagement is. But when people are doing it to support their families, you know, in impoverished countries, they'll spend forever if they have to. So, so just just so that I, sorry, I just want to s systematically get in my head how it works. So you did some reconnaissance on me. You found some domains. You, you found similar domains that were available and you registered those. And then now, now that you've done that, the next step is to do this. Is that right? Or am I jumping the gun? Well, uh, so I would kind of put these into two different parts because okay. um, I don't think I would email users that follow your YouTube. I would probably just go to your Udemy course and find people who have registered for that or left reviews for it. And I would dig into them, either find their contact information or probably go a more public route, which would be just commenting on YouTube videos. But just to stay true to the... Uh, episode, which is phishing, I thought that we could probably set up a GoFish server, which is just a phishing platform and show people how they could send out phishing emails in mass.